Well, let's start off with the fact that a uh, much better gig than John Abbott had. Uh, of course, I'm a lot warmer here just outside the war room, but uh, it hasn't been that hot as the war room uh, indicates. The guy's still sitting down in our liaison with uh, the guys in there. Pat Park to the right still sitting down as well. So he's not exactly busy. So with about 20 minutes to go prior to the deadline uh, shutting down for yet another year, 2012, looks like the Leafs are going to be uh, held at least for one deal. They get bigger up front uh, moving forward. And as Rick Dudley alluded to, a guy they see uh, sometimes in the near future, fitting into Toronto's second or third line, big power winger in Carter Ashton, six feet, two inches tall, about 210 pounds, so that certainly helps. Certainly hurts to see a guy like Keith Ollie go, of course, but uh, the Leafs loaded as far as the defensive position is concerned. Corbinian and Holzer's had a tremendous year. Simon Geispers is playing well and waiting in the wings, Jesse Blacker. So no guarantees that that is it for the Maple Leafs. Again, about 20 minutes to go. There may be a deal yet, but coming up uh, in about a half hour time, we're going to head downstairs uh, to the media center here at the Air Canada Center and await word from Brian Burke as he'll assess the media, a State of the Union address as to what happened today or what did not happen, why it didn't happen, and where the Maple Leafs head from here as we go to the last six weeks of the season. And the Maple Leafs is three points back of eighth spot. It is going to be tough scratch and claw as we head toward the end of the season in Montreal. April the 7th, but the Leafs are going to be there and providing you get consistent goaltending and of course that'll transpire in terms of confidence up front. Always a good chance for the Toronto Maple Leafs to get back to that final eight. It's been a while. Until then, we'll see you downstairs and we're looking forward to hearing from Brian Burke.